the meantime, we bring in our political panel, founder and CEO of Blueprint Strategy, Antoine Seawright, Democratic strategist Blake Rutherford. Gentlemen, nice to see you both there. Uh, we heard what Brian just said in terms of both poll numbers and fundraising numbers for Booker. He's at the bottom of both of those charts, or just below the bottom. The president uh, said a couple of months ago that he thought Booker had, quote, no chance to win the nomination. Uh, either of you want to disagree with the president on that? Well, I, I think it's uh, I think it's pre I think it's malpractice for Donald Trump to give the premature benediction to any one of the Democratic candidates who are running to seek our party's nomination. When you look at this primary process or any presidential primary, mm -hmm. you'll know that direction is more important than speed. And according to Mike Tyson, one of my favorite quotes, you have to peak at the right time. And so I'm I'm very cautiously well, optimistic. And, 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 I, I guess that I guess that works, Blake, unless you're Donald Trump and you peaked from the very start and stayed at the top of the polls the whole way through. Right. Well, every race is different, Leland, before he starts. Every race is different and you can't compare okay. the Republican oh, okay. primary and Democratic Blake primary. Yeah, I mean, I, I think to a, to a degree that's right. I, I do think it's early. I think the one thing that we don't know yet and, and, and what, we've, what we've talked about but we haven't seen is what Joe Biden's going to do in this race. Um, he's, he's, he's capturing almost 30 percent in both Iowa and New Hampshire. If he gets in that race, do those numbers grow? Do they shrink? And if he doesn't get in this race, where do those, where does that support go? So I think until we see what mm. Vice President Biden does, it's, it's very difficult to, to write anyone off at this point That's or to right. guarantee anybody's victory. All right. Right. right right behind Biden, almost tied in some of the polls, is uh, Bernie Sanders, who is going to release what he says is 10 years of his tax returns uh, coming up on Monday. And for a guy who rails against the millionaires and billionaires, we're learning that he will be among that group of millionaires. Here's what he said uh, to The New York Times. I wrote a best-selling book. If you write a best-selling book, you can be a millionaire, too. I don't know, Blake, that sounds an awful lot like <laughs> capitalism to me. Yeah, I mean, it, it certainly does. Look, Bernie Sanders is full of full of contradictions. You know, he never wanted to release his tax returns. Now he's basically been forced into releasing his tax returns. He's attacked the wealthy, and now he is wealthy. I mean, I think people are going to have to reconcile with that. I don't think Bernie Sanders is the strongest candidate in the Democratic field. I don't think he wins a general election, but but I think he's going to come under continued scrutiny for, for what are Trump-like contradictions. All right, Antoine, real, real quick in terms of, of watching this Cory Booker event and waiting for him to take uh, the stage, when you look at that polling data uh, as it comes to, there's Booker right now walking up. So Antoine, real quickly, anything that Booker can say right now that actually changes the conversation and puts him out front uh, in terms of message or in terms of style that breaks through this path that he seems to be stuck behind? I don't think there's anything he can say right now. I think is what happens when he leaves here today. I think he has to make headway in early states. I think he needs to put a real focus on South Carolina, where I've made no apologies about where I think the Democratic nominee who wins South Carolina will ultimately be our party's nominee. And I think he needs to focus on a very high-touch, um, high-tech campaign in which he contact voters. Poll numbers will change along the way. Right. At the end of the day, the national polls do not matter what matter. Early state polls, state by state.